I will now show you how to create quotations. In Atlas DI, uh, we can uh, create quotations uh, basically in two ways. Uh, we can uh, do this freely in the sense that you select a segment from the document, whatever kind of document, and you, um, by selecting that, you create a quotation in the language of Atlas DI, but you don't have to rush into making sense of that through coding, at least not immediately. So it's equivalent to reading a document uh, on a piece of paper. You highlight what calls your attention, but you tell yourself that uh, you are not going to write anything on the side of the page. Instead, you will continue reading until you have a better understanding of the whole. We refer to this in Atlas DI as creating free quotations, but at the same time, you can create a quotation and immediately uh, connect to it a, a code. So let's let's take a look at this. So I, I, I see this here and I select uh, this segment of the text and let's say that I tell myself I am not ready to uh, code it but I do want to I do want to select it I do want to transform this into a quotation there you go uh, let me see I'm gonna go to another 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 document I will select a video document and I say that all of this section here oops right there starts that's so interesting, I tell myself, ah, but I'm not ready yet to code it. That becomes another quotation, another free quotation. Let me go to a picture. This is again, here I will say, the use of this handheld device. The same thing, very interesting. I will, I will create a quotation out of it. Not commit yet to any coding. Let me take a look at my uh, quotations. I have one here and I can say to myself this is a video quotation, right? And, uh, and here I can, I, can, I can see that. At the same time if I go to the code, uh, I'm sorry, to the quotation manager uh, I can also see the preview of that quotation uh, right, right here on the uh, in, in the quotation manager itself you can see at the bottom the preview uh, and this is very very useful because you have not coded it yet but you can write something about this you can write this is so interesting let's explore this further and later on you will come back to this and you may decide to code it okay the same thing with the others and, and, and more than that you know the, the name of the quotation is given by the first few characters but you can always rename this, this quotation uh, uh, in the how with whatever name you want you want to uh, healing uh, you want to you want to healing system okay so you have renamed your quotation as well let me continue with this. So I said that you can create quotations freely, but you can also create a quotation like I will do right away now with this with this particular uh, video document. Right click, uh, right click there, and immediately uh, either create a, a new code, right, a new code for it, or select one of my uh, existing codes, which, well, in fact, I don't have any other code, so uh, uh, that's the only way to do it at this moment. But let me create a new code just for you to see this, and I'm going to talk about this, about the origin, uh, origin of service recipients, let's say. Well, I will select another segment, and as I said, you can right-click, add a new code, which, uh, which is what I did already, but you can also select one of the codes that already exists there and now the code is connected to this quotation okay all right so that finalizes this process of creating uh, quotations although although I could do something more let me do this because I haven't show, shown this to you this is a a a a, a, PD, a work document a word document so it's exactly the same thing right right click add a code to it if you want to uh, you can you can drag and drop a, a code or you can just go to create quotation from selection in another part of this presentation I will talk more specifically about coding